Your brain knows what this is a missing link for. Ever since we were small children, we've learned to identify the giraffe. The giraffe is an even-toed ungulate, along with pigs, camels, antelope, sheep, goats, and cattle. Why did the ancestors of the giraffe look so much different? Each new generation of living thing is born slightly different than the previous. Any difference that can be used as an advantage is passed on more readily because that organism is slightly better suited to reproduce and feed. This causes very slight changes from generation to generation, but results in significant differences over great periods of time. Creationists constantly repeat the mantra that no missing links have been found, but this is just a lie, one based on either willful ignorance or outright deception. The fossil record shows us histories of various species, families, orders, and classes of animals. Using this information, we can often trace back modern-day animals to a common ancestor. Not only is this information readily available, but it is fascinating. As we look back into the fossil record, the ancestors of the giraffe have shorter and shorter necks, as we would expect. But usually, if you show these fossil species and not-so-missing links to creationists, they will school you in a master class of denial shaking their heads, saying no, 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 bringing up all kinds of personal beliefs and ideas based only in wishful ideology. But the pictures speak louder than any baseless assertions. It is a relief to be able to accept the evidence, instead of always having to explain it away in order to make it fit with a personal belief system.